do you actually believe that sleep can affect your weight and just having a proper sleep can allow you to not only achieve your weight but maintain your health in this video i'm going to be talking about my top five reasons why sleep is critical and very importantly my top three tips that i'm going to give you which allows you to achieve and maintain a healthy sleep pattern which translates into an optimal metabolism. Hi, a lot of people think that weight loss is all about eating less and exercising more. In this video, I am going to elaborate on why sleep is not only important but is crucial to maintain a healthy and optimal metabolism. Statistical data is suggesting that up to one third of the population gets less than six hours of sleep each night. See, poor sleep has been associated with not only weight gain, but more importantly, difficulty in losing weight. Our body needs minimum seven hours of sleep to maintain optimal health. But it's not just the duration of sleep, it's also the quality of sleep. Studies have suggested that people who sleep less than five hours each night are at a 15% increased risk of gaining weight. Poor sleep also creates a situation where it increases our appetite. It plays up with our hunger hormones such that the ghrelin and the leptin, the two key hunger hormones, are in disbalance. Ghrelin causes us to eat more food and leptin creates a situation where it gives us satiety. But when we are not having adequate sleep or when we are sleep deprived, ghrelin levels go up, which is so counterproductive for people who may have already had the gastric sleeve surgery, which actually reduces your hunger hormone ghrelin, while sleep or lack of sleep causes an increase. So this is a very important link to understand, which creates and impacts your long-term results after weight loss surgery in case that's what you've had. Third reason why poor sleep is related to weight gain is that it not only increases your appetite, it also increases your cravings for sugary foods. And I can attest to this myself during my surgical training, when we would be doing long hours of shifts working in hospitals, when we were sleep deprived, we would normally gravitate towards the muffins and the chocolate cakes with coffee. And that is something which is so counterproductive when you are trying to lose weight. Lack of sleep also means that you've got more awake time, even though that's not very productive, you are maybe watching television, going for snacks, and you're just taking more junk food, which is empty calories. But more importantly, lack of sleep also creates more tiredness. You are just lacking the motivation to go and do any exercise. And the most important thing how lack of sleep creates a long-term damage is it wrecks your metabolism. See, lack of sleep creates an increase in the level of your cortisol, which is the stress hormone, which not only causes you to go for the sugary foods because they are comforting, but more importantly, as this study shows, it affects your gut health. Lack of sleep affects your gut microbiome, which is the driver of your metabolism. So here are my top three tips as to what can you do today after watching this video in order to improve your sleep health or as we say, sleep hygiene. The first thing is you got to manage your light. 
Now, what do I mean by that? Managing light means that when you're getting close to your sleep times, the body goes through a biorhythm, a biological rhythm, where when we wake up in the morning, the serotonin hormone goes up. But as we go through the day and it's getting dark, the secretion of melatonin, which is the sleep hormone, increases in our body. Melatonin gets disrupted when we look at light emitting screens. These light emitting screens, such as your phone, your iPad, your computer screens, create this blue light which disrupts the production of melatonin. So it is always recommended to have this light and if they say it's red light which is the most important gentle red light in your bedroom if you can get that. And number two, avoid usage of your screens for at least a couple of hours before it is your bedtime. Secondly, meals. Now you got to give a gap of about four hours prior to go to your bed. See, for most of us in the modern society, dinner is the heaviest meal of your day. And if you just sleep on a heavy stomach, that creates a problem with your whole metabolism because the body is trying to rest and repair during sleep time. Whereas if it has to spend a lot of energy in just digesting food, it has got no time to repair and regenerate. So give four hours of gap between when you have your last meal of the day and when you go to bed. And the last tip that I have, which I think is really pertinent, is to develop a routine for yourself. Develop a structure. What time do you wake up and what time do you go to sleep? Because when you follow a structure, initially it may be hard for some people, but as you follow a structure, you'll begin to realize that your sleep and your wake up time become more regulated. And my top tip is that when it comes to weight loss matters, don't just focus on diet and exercise. It is a good idea to just sleep over the matter. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and family and do leave your comments because I always go through all those comments and I'd love to answer any questions in my future videos.